In part three of the tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to shade the cylinder using a high range of value. So in the first part, we did our cone, and our cone created kind of a cast shadow onto our cylinder. So that's already there. What I'd like you to do is look at the darkest values on your cylinder. So if we take a look at this area, it would be right along the top here and then about halfway down. So I'm going to be getting my 6B for that, which is my, remember the Bs are the dark ones. So I am going to begin shading down here. Now when I shade, I'm going to curve the strokes of my pencil to kind of wrap around the cylinder a little bit. That's going to give me that illusion that it's three-dimensional. And it stays pretty dark down the side. And But it starts to get a little bit lighter here in the value. So I'm just going to keep this going. All the way down. Okay, so that's kind of my dark value. Now I am pressing a little bit less hard as I get lower here. Okay, and now I'm going to do kind of a medium pressure on the side here as well. Now when I get to the bottom, where it's a little lighter in value, I'm going to go a little lower with my B. So I'm going to go to a 4B, which is a little bit lighter. Again, I'm still kind of curving my pencil strokes while I do this. Okay, so remember, it's important while we're doing this that we have a high range of value. We don't want everything to just be gray. Right? We talked about that in part one of the video about how when you just make everything gray, um, that's not shading. That's just making it gray. <laughs> in order to shade, you have to show multiple values, right? Lights, mediums, darks. So I'm going to use my tortillion now to blend this. And I'm kind of blending against the grain of the pencil strokes that I made. That's going to help to soften it a little bit. Now over here, I kind of have, it goes from dark to medium, so I'm going to grab my 4B and kind of do some medium blending here. All the way down, and then I'm going to... blend up here. Okay, now in here I kind of want to blend this more so I'm going to grab a my 6B and I'm going to do some soft pressure with my 6B and then blend there. Now I just want to look at the shadow of my cylinder so right over here, it kind of trails off in that direction because my light source is here. So I am, let me just fix this spot. I'm going to get my dark 6B and I'm going to kind of draw a line underneath here because that's what I have in there. And then I'm going to bring this across and it's going to kind of go behind my sphere across to here down like that and I'm going to color really hard and dark that is actually a really really dark shadow and you want to have a big contrast between there and the side of the cylinder so press really hard with that 6B take your tortillion and blend it just a little bit and then you can just blend your edges a little just to 
soften it. Okay? And there you have it.